hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video from araco tv and it's titled fake alpha male tries and fails to intimidate man you guys if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what this video is all about how do you define success my definition of success is across the board if you're not ripped if you're not rich if you ain't rare if you don't stand out if you ain't across the board successful it doesn't mean fucking shit to me if you got straight tits and you're in your rolls royce you look like a fucking clown to me i'm just laughing at your dumb fucking ass okay but this is the whole fucking point you have a weakness change it motherfucker how the are you going to lead people if you don't realize your weakness is their way out they're not going to listen to you you're sitting there possessing shit that they don't want to have so i mean this is what people say oh it's not about the money it's about family west it's about this about that motherfucker when you're making money it's about the money when it's family it's about family when you're at the gym it's about muscle whatever you're doing it's about that there's no black and white life it's the gray area you have to be good at everything that's the goal, to really excel in every area. And that's the worst thing about these motherfuckers. They try to give you relationship advice. You got a borderline Miami 2. That's like a fucking Mississippi 6. Don't give me relationship advice to my 10 when you got a 2, motherfucker. Shut up. But this is this whole thing. People don't think I'm going to put the measuring stick to their motherfucking face. They better just watch what they say around a motherfucker who's beating them in every area. You better have a bad bitch. You better be ripped. You better can be rolling some sick shit. That's what I like. I, I grew up hustling. There has to be rims on my goddamn phantom. Go out front. That ain't, no, that ain't normal phantom. That's a mansory phantom. I don't have the normal shit. F*** that. Chicks got upgrades. Done. Well said, Wes. God damn. With the fire. God damn. With the bullshit. This guy sounds like an absolute donor. He's saying if you don't have a six pack and a fast car, then you're a loser and less successful than him. That just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. There's plenty of men out there that don't have those things and are more high value and successful than this map here. And I will say to some extent, there's some things I agree with. I've said before that I think men should try and be physically and mentally strong. And to also have enough money to be financially stable. But I don't think success is all about money and materialism because without a family and real people around you, what's the point? My definition of success is having a family, having children, and being part of the apparatus of the world. And true wealth is a rejection of materialism. As Christ said himself, what good does it benefit a man to gain the entire world at the cost of his soul? It's okay to have materialism. It's not against Christian ethics to become rich, become wealthy. But I just think it's all beside the point, ultimately. You're trying to go for a single thing, and it's to achieve something greater you have than money. the person. Does, does he have money? No. Does, do you have money? No. No, I don't have. I don't have. I don't have money. But but here's the thing. Why is why is money much, valuable? I'm just. Do you have why, money? What is money valuable for? I'm just asking. Do you have money? I just thought no. I'm broke. I'm a nobody. No, but really, you are. Yeah. Is he really broke? Yeah. I'm just, well, <laughs> I just want to know. I have to know. No, I'm not. Strolling. I'm not one of these rich guys. I don't have a Bugatti. I don't have a Lambo. I, don't I, have I just a really have to know. Like, how much money you got? Probably five, the five bucks in my pocket, not much uh, more. You, can, anyone, can anyone answer for the guy? <laughs> Why do they think I'm kidding? I have a family. I take care of an entire family. That's, that takes a lot He's of money. Right. He's doing all right. Okay. Now, me personally, I do think money is valuable because I didn't grow up with a lot of it. And I've understood that it gives you freedom and it allows you to take care of people that you love, yeah. which is a great thing. Mm -hmm. However, I don't think money makes the man. And I think if you think you're better than another man because you've got more money than him, you're proof that money doesn't make you high value or smart. I also think you're probably going to be a lonely old man one day if you put materialistic shit and money before your family. I'd rather be surrounded by my family than expensive objects. This is the thing, you guys. If you ain't fit, you can't say it. Why, you guys? What are your thoughts on this video? Araco TV has said nothing but the truth. And as for the man on white, on the Fresh and Fit podcast, he's the most arrogant person I have ever seen. Because a person doesn't have money doesn't mean that they should be written off. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. And let's continue watching you guys. It's not all about being have being in good why, shape. Why not? If you don't have money, you can't say it's not all about money. Yeah, why not? But if he does have money, he can say that. Why not? He why can. can't you say it? Why must you have the thing? Because you, because before I, you, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me ask the question. Because hypothetical is hypocritical. Let me ask the question. Hypothetical is hypocritical. How do you even know what I was going to say? Before I've even been allowed to ask the question. I know what you're going to say. Then what was I going to say? You're going to say, how, why can't you ask the question? Okay, so 
That's not what I was going to say. What I was going to say is how in the world can you create a standard that it's inappropriate to ask somebody, how come if I don't have X thing, because I don't value X thing, does that mean X thing is actually valuable? You've never experienced it, so you can't speak about <laughs> you it. You think that I haven't experienced wealth? Even I, poor I people, was asking if you did. Even poor people experience days of wealth. I was they asking can, if you did. I, I don't people, know who you are. Even Yeah, but even poor people experience days of wealth. That's so the thing is, is, No, no, definitely not. not. Definitely yeah, not. Def definitely, no, definitely so. Not. Definitely so. I've lived the lowest lows and the highest highs. Well, what's the, so what's the distinction? After you make X amount, hundreds of thousands of dollars, if you look at these studies done on this, it does not I don't hugely, fit no fucking studies. It does not bro. hugely improve a person's life. Are you proud of who the f*** you are? Bro, why, why, why well, look you at, are you proud? Glitch? If you look in the mirror, would you guys say this motherfucker's proud of who the f*** he is? That's a bag of trash, dude. Pull your f***ing shirt because off I've been, and tell me you're f***ing proud Because of I've been to f***ing prison? Jesus Christ, because look I've been at to you, prison? bro. You got 10-inch arms and tits. <laughs> Men don't have it's no, nice. they go to prison. Get your ass beat in front of everybody. You think that's guys, better? Guys, you guys. think that that's okay. better? Let's let him give his his definition of success. And then having it's in ten inch arms is what a man is. Let's, you let, guys. Him, let's let him. Please get his... don't listen to that. See, look, when you meet wow. someone that challenges his points and doesn't back down to him, he starts getting mm -hmm. angry and throwing insults, and that's the what sign of a weak man with mark. no emotional control. And you've automatically lost the debate when you start to do this and make it personal. Pits. Anyway, back to where I was at. Boobs. Yeah. Okay. Prison. But anyway, if you want, Fuck yeah. if you want to follow the successful mantra of a man who tells you he's reformed from prison, understand why they might have gone there to begin with. And to take yes, I do think. So apparently, this guy used to be in prison, and now he's come out and he's made it his whole personality. And I don't know about this guy, but I know other guys that have made mistakes when they're young and they've come out and they've done really well. Not all criminals are bad people, and not all bad people are criminals. So I will back the donut up on that one. However, I will say the delivery by Andrew Wilson was still funny and the bull guy's response was still dumb. You can't properly take care of your family when you're in a jail cell. I do think that a rejection of materialism is something missing in society and I do think that true wealth is the family. Being able to go home and look your family in the face and know that you're doing everything you can to support them. That's and then when I you go to the beach is. with your family, they're like, there's my stud dad right there standing there. My dad's a superhero. Look what he brought to the table. Look how hard this guy works. He came from sure. nothing to this. Yeah. He works very, he works, he's, God damn it. You're still whining. Stop whining. That, that just is a make product. I, dude, I'll smack your fat yeah, ass. So you're going to attack okay. You're going to attack all right, me? All right, all right, all right. Do you usually it? attack this armed men in I Florida? Talk, <laughs> you, dude. All right. He called. Look Let's at just... your goddamn self. Okay, guys, guys, I've guys, never guys, seen guys, such a pathetic mother. Okay, okay. well, Let's chill out I, a little I'll... bit, man, a little bit. This is not what men Let's look like. Let's let them what do they look like? Point. Fucking shit. What do they look like? Bald prisoners? Yeah, is that what they look like? It, th right, this so is the problem them, in society. Is people like this think they can talk to someone like me like that? They really think they can. He he knows he wouldn't do shit about it, and that's the problem. I mean, you're the one who got hostile for having a difference of opinion, dude. Check it out. You started coming at me about some other shit. Like Jesus yeah. Christ, men don't have tits. We can agree on that. Physically. Men he, usually have he hair. Has, we can agree on that, too. He has Physically. crossed over gender barriers. He's just way too quick and smart for him, which is now making the audience laugh at the Muppet. So he's only going to get angrier. He said before something like people need to understand who they're speaking to. He needs to understand which state he's in and understand that people are strapped up and his muscles will not protect him from a bullet. If you're not contributing to a moral society and you're only contributing to a consumerist society, a materialistic society, that's the only thing you're gonna worship. And tons of people worship material things and flash it around, but it's vacant, it's spiritually vacant. Wow, you guys, this man obviously is very, very materialistic and also very annoying. The way he is quick to almost bust into a fight with the other man is definitely disturbing because once you resort to being aggressive once you resort to wanting to fight the other person that means you've lost the argument no matter what you are talking about no matter the point you are raising in such a debate once you become offensive and aggressive you are automatically ruled out and at this point whatever this man is saying doesn't matter anymore let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below and let's wrap this video up you guys the craziest thing is if you looked at the people who are supposedly materialistic We've helped more people than these guys who claim. Why is helping? Me. What is? Why We've is helping? Wait, wait, wait. Why lives. is helping important to you? 
I mean, because I know what it's like to be at the bottom. So, okay. So, we, are you helping someone if you give them an expensive watch? Why do you think we just do that? You must not know who you're talking to. I asked you to. a question. You didn't answer it. I give them the habits to build themselves. What did I ask you, though? I said, am I helping them if I give them an expensive watch? I give them habits, a mindset. So, the I answer is no. I operate. So if you give them... Well, you guys are assuming we're only answer, doing no, no. stuff about materialism. Can a man answer a direct question? <laughs> Jesus Christ. These f***ing... <laughs> these characters... The answer is no. Fuck. See, look, once again, he's put on the spot. He can't answer a question, so he starts to insult him. Look at these f***ing Karens, Go ahead, dude. buddy. How the f*** did these guys even get up here? Why would you bring me here with people like you this? You didn't answer the question. Dude, dude, dude <laughs> f***ing sh Shit, We've got bro. different of, of opinion here. Right. Okay, go ahead, Miguel. I'm, this is why they split it like this. <laughs> this, this. I'm sorry you got. I'm sorry you got put over there. No, I know, you I don't know. really fit over there. We need some other little fucking lame douche over there. Oh man, man. Yeah, I still on, answer man. the question. Is giving would, someone what, an expensive you, watch? Why do you guys really hang out with these guys? This is not an argument. Like Jesus Christ. They're skilled. They're skilled at some things. Oh, Whoever hey, fucking said hey that. Hey on that so, base guy right there just said hell yes. Shut up. That's fucking hilarious. You're awesome. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Sorry. The whole crowd says, yeah, we'd hang out with them. Different yeah, guys this, on the this panel. is why most people don't invite me guys, places. Guys. Different guys yeah, on the panel. Yeah, we can tell. Have different skills. <laughs> we can tell. His tits are all jiggling. He's got like a half a fucking jelly donut. <laughs> hey, bro, your toupee. It's still back there in the back. Go get it. I, I shaved my head. You, you sure they, are you sure you, you okay, shaved okay, your okay, head? Okay, or? okay, all okay. Right. We got all right. Chill. Go ahead, Miguel. <laughs> bro, Come George on. Michael wants his pants back. Dude, God damn! Look at whose shirt is that, dude? That your your fucking mom bought you that. Your aunt bought you that for fucking Thanksgiving dinner. That's like Oshkosh Bagosh or some shit, bro. Welcome Jesus to the, welcome to the roast, roast session today, dude. Any of you guys who fucking, so holy like shit? Room. If those are men to you guys, I mean, who's gonna invite him anywhere? Who wants to be around a raging, insecure little donut? And I think he thought the crowd were laughing with him, but they're laughing at him. He also thought he was gonna bully these guys and make them look like idiots in front of everyone, but it's been the other way around. You can just tell this other guy, Andrew Wilson, is not scared of him at all. He just thinks he's a fool and he's mocking him. It's the thing about materialism. You're, you're yeah, you worship it, guy, dude. You worship it. These guys must have grown up with money, bro. The you worship who material. Money, chase money. The worship who materialism. Grow, you shut the. F you, you don't worship know me, it. You I can lame. tell. I can tell by your speaking. How the f do you think you listen? Know how me? reactive you are if someone shave says your goddamn arms. See, you can't bro. deal with it. You can't deal with it. Why would I shave my arms on the man? Look at these pale f oh, fuck is wrong with you? Okay, shave your body. Aren't you a man? <laughs> Look at this guy, dude. dude. Okay, let's let Miguel finish this real dude, quick. Let's post these guys. Shave chicks. your pubes. Hey, post these guys. Right, guys women guys, back guys, here. Guys, guys, guys. I want to see these guys, guys. Women. Let's put guys, these trolls guys, back guys, here. Guys, women guys, are not guys. objects. Hey, in our hey, world, guys, we're not guys, 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 guys. Relax. I've never heard more relax. lies in my life. Relax. This is one thing I don't like. West, West, West. It's people who lie. You're crying. Nice. Let's just no, move no, on. No, 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 no. We're going to move on. I We're going to move on. I can cry if you want. We're going to move on. We're going to move on. We're going to move on. Good if you want. We're going to move on. That's all you got is threats. We're going to move on, guys. We're going to move on. Speaker. We're going to move on, guys. We're going to move on. At least I can answer a direct question. Guys, guys, guys. Oh, my God. We're going to move on. How did you bring me here? I thought this was like some real shit. West, West, We got to chill, man. We got to chill. I'll dip. West, go ahead. All right, what's success, right? Freeing the slaves, that's what it is. He tried to make a fool out of them the whole time and ended up looking like a fool himself. It's like he's trying to give this impression that he's a strong, high-value, successful man, but no high-value man acts like that or has that little emotional control. Whenever his points were challenged, he crumbled and insulted him, which makes you look like more of a donor. It's like this Socrates quote, when debate is lost, slander becomes a tool of the loser. Wow, you guys, that was such an interesting one. I really enjoyed every minute of this video. Let me know your thoughts on this particular video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.